Hello guys, uh, this is Doe from, from Digital Fun and this is what we're going to be creating today. It's a countdown in, in After Effects. It's an old style countdown in After Effects. So this is what we are going to be creating today. <coughs> okay, to create this countdown we open After Effects, in this case I'm using After Effects CS3 you go to File New New Project and then here it says Save Changes to Countdown that AEP which is uh, the current project I'm working on uh, so I'll click Yes in your case you just go to File New new project and just click there now I'm gonna include the source files in the description for the video now let's import the files and you can do that in two ways double clicking here in this area or you can also click file import file or multiple files I'll click multiple files and then I'm gonna include this bip1 this bipf which is the final bit and I'm gonna include also the film strip and the projector sound and the structure uh, template I'll click open now this is asking me for the alpha channel of the structure uh, picture I'm just gonna put straight on matic okay and just click done since I have imported what I needed now let's create a new comp by clicking here in the create new composition now I'm gonna call this composition count down and the resolution I'm gonna put um, 12 1280 by 720 which is uh, HD you know 720 and uh, duration or the length I'm just gonna put five seconds so it's gonna be five seconds long click OK so now I have this composition here now I'm gonna give it a, a background which is gonna be layer click on the composition right here and then go to layer new solid which is right here or you can click on control Y I call this layer background BG and just give it any color I'm gonna give it um, black but don't worry I'm gonna apply a gradient to it okay so now you can go here to the effects and then generate a ramp and all that stuff where I prefer using this uh, effects and preset stack which is which has a, a search a bar so I will type um, ramp generate ramp and I like uh, the radio ramp just click on the radio ramp and now click you know what I'm gonna change the colors a bit I'm gonna put uh, lighter or the star color like that yeah somewhere around that click OK and then I'm gonna choose a darker color for the end color yeah I like that better so this is the background layer now <coughs> We have the structure, which is just a structure of the, the two circles and the horizontal and vertical lines. You see it, let's put it in front. You see that? That's the structure logo. I mean, the structure for the countdown. Where is it? Now, we have to import the film strip, which is this one. And the film strip is just a strip of film that I created. 
and it's uh, it's matted. It has transparencies, so you don't need to worry about uh, keying out the color or anything like that. It's just a PNG file. It has transparencies. Now, what? So what we see there is not what we wanted. So let's make some changes. Now let's click on the film strip, press P in the keyboard and look for the position. Now let's change the X position to center the film strip. Now let's decrease the X position and it should be about there. But now it's fine on the left side but on the right side it's not it's not looking right it's uh it's not complete so let's apply another effect which uh repeats the background it's called cc rip tile the tiling should be repeat so we can start from here taking the other part the left part now increase the expand right up to when you see that it's completed and as you can see we can move it a little more to the left so we can have it in the center we need to scale down the structure and the background now let's lock the film strip so we don't move it around and let's click on the structure and click the S key on the keyboard and scale it down uh, I think right like 80% is right yeah I think 80% is right but you can do any any size you want but I think 80% is pretty good now for the background we just need to shrink it a little bit on the y-axis to get rid of this part and this part so we do that by clicking on the background layer then pressing down s on the keyboard and click here on this constraint button to just scale down one axis and the axis is going to be the y-axis which is going to be this one and we have to decrease it Let's see when it looks about right there. It looks about right. Yes. Now you can see there it's not looking. That's because the composition has a black background by default. So we can fix that to see how it looks by clicking the toggle transparency grid here. And there you can see it's looking right looking pretty good now let's move ahead we need to put the numbers here click on the text tool and then just write something I'm gonna write 5 since my composition is 5 seconds long and let's select this text now I'm gonna it's better to center the text and um, I'm gonna scale the text up 36 I'm gonna put like a hundred pixels wow it's too small I'm gonna increase it like 300 there <laughs> so we're gonna change the font for the text I don't know which font to put it Arial let's see yeah I'm gonna put Arial now we have to center the text to the structure and that's pretty easy just click on the position and then move it down on the y-axis until you see it match uh, like around right there right yeah it's pretty good now that's just a reference to see how everything is going to look Let's change the color to black. Uh, it looks pretty cool. 
it looks pretty good so now we need to do the shading that starts from from zero here and then goes through this whole cycle up to 360 completes one revolution and then completes the cycle again and in the end it's going to complete five cycles since this composition is five seconds long it will complete one revolution per second so we need to create another solid that is the same size as the background solid so we create one different solid if we just have the background which has the same size as the size we need just click the background solid and go to edit duplicate or just click ctrl d in pc now we don't need the ramp so just click the ramp effect and delete it we need an effect which is called radio wipe so just type on the on the search um, bar for the effects and presets radio wipe and it's right here or you can just go to um, effects effects transition and then radio wipe uh, it should be somewhere around here here so apply it to the no so let's rename this layer just click it and click enter on the keyboard and type shade and just to show you what this effect does I'm gonna increase the transition completion to see to show you what what it does see that's that's kind of what we need but I actually don't need that effect in that way I need it in a way that it feels as it increases so it's the opposite of what it does now so on the wipe click counterclockwise and now you can see something that we'd like when it's 100 percent you see that <clears throat> it's 100 percent so it goes from 100 percent to zero and it does what what i want now we need to find a way to did to do this dynamically because we don't want to start keyframing everything for five seconds so we are gonna write an expression that is gonna take care of that let's click alt alt on the key on the keyboard and then click the stopwatch <clears throat> now we are gonna write we're gonna change this and write this expression is gonna be in a loop uh, the loop you're gonna use is the for loop and the uh, expression looks something like this for open parenthesis close parenthesis decal a variable var t equals time which is the current time where the composition is currently at semicolon t less than or equal less than or equal to this comp that duration semicolon t plus plus now since this expression is only gonna have one statement we don't need to open and close the curly braces so just click enter this concludes the first part of this tutorial series of creating um, a countdown please tune up for the next part